morning guys. I wanted to do a little different style of video today just because, um, I don't know, it, it just is something I enjoy watching so I thought I'd show you guys. Um, I'm saying this after after I already recorded myself painting my face and chit-chatting so um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you guys like it and we'll see if we make it a thing or not. I don't mind having a little morning chit-chat so enjoy. Good morning. I am getting myself ready. Uh, they do this in the makeup community. Uh, they do this uh, get ready with me thing. But I just wanted to have a little chit chat and I have to work today. So I thought I would put my face on while I talk to you. So I won't be looking at you too much because, you know, I got to look at my face. But um, I'm thinking about, you know, this morning when I opened my... When I open my YouTube studio app, which gives me all my analytics and my views and all that stuff, it showed me that I had 200 subscribers, which is super exciting to me. That is super exciting. I Thank you guys. I'm so excited. <clears throat> well, as I was looking through my analytics, it went down to 199, which means that I lost one, but um, that's fine. But... The last few days, as I'm, you know, getting more subscribers and getting more comments and, you know, starting to get some traction and I guess a little bit of, you know, success with this, which, you know, isn't that what we want? You know, when we put YouTube videos out and we start to gain audience, of course, that's what we want. You know, we want people to see us. We want to be able to help people. Well, <clears throat> you know, I do. I want to be able to help people. I want to share my heart and my struggles in hopes that I can help another person. But at the same time, I'm seeing a pattern with myself. And it happened one other time, you know, when I was a member of a church years ago. And I was leading a small group, which is basically like a Bible study. You know, you pick a topic. It goes for a certain number of weeks, and then you lead these women, you know, in my case, these women in this study, and we studied different things. You know, we did a, a book at one time. I studied the book of Ephesians with them, but then, you know, the second or third time around, I had probably about 12 women sign up and that was the most that had ever signed up to be in a small group with me and I kind of panicked because I felt like I wasn't qualified to lead that many women like the thought that I kept having and it's the same thought that I'm having as I get more and more subscribers here is that's a lot of people to lead astray. So I'm having some fear that I'm going to lead people astray. And I know that, you know, we are, we INFJs are old souls. We are, we have wisdom and I believe that wisdom comes from God. I think he's given us that so that we can be you know, the sages, I guess, <laughs> or the wise people. You know, we can't all be created the same because how boring would that be? And nothing would ever get accomplished because we'd all be just doing the same thing over and over. So, yeah, as I'm gaining more subscribers, I'm super thankful. I, you know, I do kind of pray over myself. I do ask God to leave me before I hit record. So that, you know, I'm not just speaking foolish nonsense. Because I don't want to sound like a fool. I don't want to misrepresent him either. But, you know, that old pattern and that old fear of that's a lot of people to lead astray is creeping in. And that's kind of where I'm sitting with that here this morning. 
Now my family's not awake yet. I usually get myself ready. I have to work, like I said. I usually get myself ready before they are awake because I get up much earlier than they do. I also a little bit have the fear that I am going to run out of things to talk about, which is kind of hilarious because um, that is really an unfounded fear. I mean, as you guys know, with our operating system, <laughs> we don't ever run out of things to think about. So I don't know how I could run out of things to talk about, but... I do have that fear or that I'll just be repetitive and boring and then you know everybody will go away so also if there's ever anything if you guys I kind of wanted to do a video de dedicated to this but it's in my mind right now so I'll just say it if there's topics that you want that you have questions about that you want to see my you know my insight I guess Hey, just ask them in the comments and then, you know, that would kind of help me to know what you guys are interested in hearing about, what you want to know about, you know, more about. <clears throat> I started, <coughs> I started this channel with actually the intention of sharing more about, you know, I guess my, my chickens and my farm, but then I noticed right away that this INFJ thing, which was more interesting to people. You know, I got more views. It was actually easier for me to talk about also. So, but if you do want to see more of the other stuff that I do, you know, more of my work or more of the farm, that kind of thing, you know, just let me know. Or if you have questions about different topics that you see people talk about online and you want my viewpoint, you know, if it's something that I think that I can talk about, I think I have a an idea I can do that so I'm always looking for suggestions um, I'm not running out of things to talk about of course because we're thinking 100 miles an hour and now like everything that happens to me I'm like oh you better put that on the list but anyway um, just a little short talk today I'm super excited to be near 200 subscribers but then there's that just repeating fear of that's a lot of people who lead astray and I'm gonna just have to say no to that lie because it is a lie and yeah so it is 15 below zero this morning um, it's very cold I haven't been outside yet because it is still dark but it is 15 below zero and there's like frost buildup on my uh, my back door like along the ground that you can see where the frost is trying to you know the cold is trying to come in the house and oh it is cold I'm sure I'm gonna have to go out and get fresh water for my chickens and goats and I'm dreading it <laughs> I'll wrap myself up make sure my skin is covered 15 below isn't too bad. It's when it starts to get to like 30 below and have a little bit of wind that you have to be really careful for frostbite because, you know, it can be, you can get frostbite really quickly, especially if your skin is damp and you're out and about. You know, and my animals surprisingly do just fine with the cold. You know, they don't, they don't move around too much out there, but they do pretty well. It, it kind of amazes me. It amazes me how, you know, God made these creatures to be able to survive these temperatures. I mean, they do have shelter, so they're, you know, they're out of the wind, they're dry, but it's not heated. So it's not warm in there, but it's slightly warmer in there than it is outside because, you know, they have their body heat and stuff in there, but it just amazes me. There's my war paint applied. <laughs> I have always loved makeup. 
and you know different parts of my life and being in different churches you know there was different viewpoint on makeup you know some churches really didn't allow it um, because we should be we should be more concerned with our inward self than our outward beauty um, and to some extent I agree with that but um, I've always loved makeup it's like a creative process for me I'm not trying to hide what I look like I'm trying to enhance what God gave me I I have always loved it it makes me feel makes me feel good makes me feel put together and ready for my day and I always say like getting dressed and painting my face is like putting my armor on for the outside world and we are sensitive people and we sometimes I feel like I need that armor and that reminds me of <laughs> yeah I don't know it's a pretty thin armor I'll tell you that right now but it makes me feel more confident I guess and like I said everybody different uh, different doctrines and different things have different churches have different opinions on it but you got to decide for yourself what what God speaks to you and what he convicts you of and how you represent yourself to the world and I represent myself to the world with a little sparkle on my eyelid so well I think that's enough rambling today I'm at 11 minutes here and <laughs> I don't know how many of these kinds of videos I'll do I just thought it was a fun thing. It's something I enjoy watching on YouTube is um, my makeup people putting their makeup on, getting ready for the day and having a little chatty. So I thought I would throw one on here and just see how I feel about it. So have a great day, guys. I will see you on the next time. Live and love out of the way you were created.